One of the great things about the Mac is the use of services. Services basically allow apps to communicate in the background. And so you can use features from one app to another uh, without actually being in the app. So for this one, we're going to show you some accordance services. And um, they offer, I think, four or five. And the one I want to show you is to retrieve Bible verse text. So if you go to accordancebible.com, click on support. Scroll down and click on Downloads. And then you'll see Accordance Services. So just click on that. And then let's download this zip file right here. Once that's downloaded, you can double click it and it should unarchive. And you see you have your zip file and then your Services folder. Now, they do provide some very, very helpful instructions. So. Um, basically this video is not really showing you anything new that aren't in these instructions but kind of give you a taste taste of that so when you download this make sure make sure you read the instructions they're really helpful and so to install these you just double click and click install and done and we'll go to the next one install done and notice how they they disappear while they're moving to a new folder um, once you install them. All right. Now to access these, you can go to the keyboard settings in your system preferences. So to get to that, you just open up your system preferences, click on keyboard, and we'll go to shortcuts. Now, You'll notice that there's services. Now, there are all types of services, and depending on uh, different apps that you install, uh, they can include services um, that you probably didn't even know about. So what you're seeing on my screen is probably not going to be identical to what you have. So let's scroll down, and as you can see, there's services for all kinds of things. But if we go to text, we see that there are uh, the services we just installed. So... From here, we can add keyboard shortcuts to these, or you can type out a reference and right click and these will be available. So let's go to Byword. And let's type in Mark 2.3. We can highlight this. And let's right click Services. And then all these are right here. So we can say View Verses, and this will open up Accordance right to Mark 2.3. We can highlight this again, and we can say insert verses. And this will insert the verse from my default um, default Bible reference. We can also, let's do a different one, John 2, 8, or 9, highlight that. And then we can go to services and insert verses from any text, this will bring up a dialog box and we can choose, let's say, I want to use the NA28 and I don't want to use the citation format. Click continue and it just puts the Greek text right there. So that is, that is pretty awesome. Now, one of the things that we can do, we can add keyboard shortcuts to this. So, let's hide this. And now we're back in the system preferences under keyboard and shortcuts. And I want to add a shortcut for insert verses. I'm going to do shift command five. Let's hope that that one's not used. And then we'll also do shift command six for insert verses from any text. Now when we go back to our text. Let's type in a reference. highlight it and we can just use the keyboard shortcut to activate this so so I just did shift command 5 and it puts the verse right there if I do shift command 6 it brings up the dialog box and let's use the NA28 we'll use the citation format and 
there we go. So this is pretty helpful, especially if you're writing a paper or, so let's say you're on a web page and you want to view the verses in accordance. So let's say you're reading my review of reading backwards and you see, oh, there's a reference to Luke 24. I'm gonna see what that says. You can highlight the text, right click, go to your services, and then click on view verses and it'll bring up accordance right here and there's your verse reference. So that's pretty handy as well. So be sure to read the uh, the text file that is in the accordance download um, for your services. So if you open up this, you can see they have some really helpful um, pointers. They even give you some hints of how to change it a little bit and uh, it's really helpful. So thanks for watching and I hope you found this helpful. And if you have any questions, just please let me know.